Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is the start of Season 7, and we are playing Trine, the Enchanted Edition. For those of you that don't know, Trine is a uh, side-scrolling, action, platformy kind of game that was developed by Frozen Byte and released in 2009. It's been ported over to Linux, Mac OS, and the PlayStation Network. It's a bit of a medieval fantasy kind of feel to it, and um, a <laughs> little bit of fun trivia. It was originally a side project by the senior developer over at Frozen Byte. They were working on something else as an original project. No name was specified or for whom, and uh, that didn't pan out. I'm being vague because every article I've read was vague about exactly what happened other than there was some money and contract and other vagarities that, that you know, it didn't happen. So Frozen Bite turned over to Trine and it is a really, really fun game. Uh, I mentioned it's puzzle, puzzle based and because they, they used a lot of the NVIDIA physics, uh, Phys X physics engine uh there's a lot of interaction with gravity and momentum and, and all sorts of fun stuff which adds a unique unique level of play um we are playing the enchanted edition which is a re-release that came out around the time of trying to so it's the original game with the trying to graphics engine and, and a little bit of bonus content not much but a little bit and in this game, we're going to take control of three characters. Uh, you'll find out why it's called Trine in the opening little bit, and I'll try not to ruin the story, but there are three characters. One of them is a knight um, who is absolutely wonderful. He's got the shield, he's got the sword, he can get a hammer later on, and you can kind of guess what his role in the party is. There is a wizard who apparently struggles with fireball. Like, that's a thing in the story. Um, he conjures things and can levitate things. A and depending on where you spend your skill points, you get all sorts of other stuff from there. And you have a asset relocation specialist, a thief, uh, who has a grappling hook and a bow and arrow. And uh, you'll see how all these different abilities will interplay. Now, you can play the game by yourself, and you just switch between which one of the three characters you want for that given moment or that given task. And it is eminently completable by yourself. However, with the Enchanted Edition, they added multiplayer support, and as I have found, Trine is infinitely better when you have friends. So... If you watch the Coffee Craft live streams that I do on Tuesdays or that I did during the interlude between Games Revisited sessions, you should recognize Rayest and Arcadius. Say hello. Bonjour. Are you there, Rayest? Uh oh. Donde est Rayest? No? Uh oh. Technical problems. Episode one, though. Let me, you know. <laughs> All right, and that's episode one. No, uh, <laughs> it, it's going to take me a second anyway. Uh, I do not have the game up on <laughs> on the screen yet because uh, I need to get the multiplayer set up, and I am hosting a private game complete with password, and so so no in game. No, no, nobody can start shenanigans. Uh, so I've got my mysterious password typed in. I'm setting the difficulty to medium. You get three options, easy, medium, and hard. You can set your starting level somewhere beyond the beginning if you want to. Um, you can turn on hardcore mode, which I'm not going to do. Uh, there's also a character mode option where you can do classic or unlimited. Classic means that each player controls one of the three characters. So in other words, uh, well, the way we've tried, Arcadius, Riest, and I have played, have started trying multiple times. 
We just never got around to actually, like, finishing it, finishing it. Which is what we're going to do in this series. We will finish it. Um, we've always played in classic mode. So Arcadius plays the knight. I play the wizard. Reyes plays the thief. And, and in classic mode... Reallocation means... specialist, please. Okay. Reallocation specialist. Which means that if Reyes needs the wizard for a minute, we've got to swap. There can't be two wizards on at the same time, that kind of thing. Uh, they're in the unlimited character mode. You can you can actually set it up so that way uh, each of you has your own trinity of characters that you can switch between. And, and yeah, uh, are you guys able to? join because I see myself as player one and I see empty player two empty player three give it a oh. or do I need to try to oh let me try invite uh did you do it as local no I did not do it as local I did it as a private game well that would explain why I can't find it on a local play game oh uh, there there, there's the firewall asking me if uh, I would like to allow trying to... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's Arcadius. Firewalls do that. It's okay. As well they should. As well they ooh, should. Ooh, ooh. Reverse, reverse. Caps lock. Oh, yeah. Oh. But you said this thing had a password. It was like one, two, three, four, five. No, don't even joke oh, about that. Oh, you're not funny. Don't, no. <laughs> okay, there we go. We've got everybody. So let me switch over to here. Oh, start the game. Start the game. I'll have to change the password now. Once Shoot. upon a time, in a land far, far away, <laughs> a kingdom was prospering, but peace could only could last, last so, so long. long. The old king died. By the way, if you really like this narrator, but you play Dota 2, there is apparently a narrator pack for Dota 2 that uses this guy. Dude, that's actually pretty cool. The madness of men would soon be overshadowed by a far greater evil. I'm going to have to check the volume post editing because it sounds really weird on my side. Transformed into something sinister. Don't let me forget. Short term memory, something or other. The dead began to rise. Oh, I gotta move the, the camera too. Grew stronger with each All the subtitles night. are going behind my camera. Fear spread throughout <laughs> the kingdom, and it was soon abandoned. But yeah, I forgot your primary enemies throughout this are all undead, so you get to beat up the skeletons. On the outskirts <laughs> of the kingdom, near the Astral Academy, a thief carried out her cunning plan. She had learned of an ancient object of tremendous value. The allocation the specialist. <laughs> left to rot in the face of the I was about to say that. Had no one to keep the treasure safe. The time was bright. All right. Start. Everything was perfect. Oh, so we all started in as a thief. Okay. Castle, and would soon lay her hands on the treasures she so desired. Ah! Ah! Oh. oh, that's right. I forgot. You, uh... Okay. The cursor is where you end up shooting your grappling hook. You got your WASD that moves you... So you can swing left to right. Uh, you can lower and climb. I think I'm also falling behind um, the group. You sound like you are in stereo. Uh, that is because Steam is all sorts of fun and it's trying to uh, play me through both the game and I don't know if you see the speaker icons under our player people in the top left. I see that. Uh, so it looks like it tried to start everything back up to the default. 
Interesting. E uh, that's one word for it. That's the family friendly word we can use. We're going with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, now I got you into Did everyone get the bubble up here? Which bubble? Uh I think there's a bubble up there. Ah. But it looks like somebody got it. Oh, okay. Does anyone know what the bubbles are? Um I hadn't gotten to that yet. Somebody picked up the one I was gonna use for the explainer. You see, okay. you get uh, experience uh, orbs. Is it? Oh, well, her. What was the button? I thought it was tab. I mean, if you jump just a little more to your left, there's a holocron. Uh, don't, don't even. Don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, no. Resume game. Which which is the, the skill? Oh, you probably can't get to the skills yet. Okay. I got one up here for you, though. Take a look at. Oh, now I got you a duplicate. All right, well, we'll have to figure this out again uh, for better next time. Hmm. Ah, they're there. All right. These little green uh, jars up here, those give you experience, which lets you do all sorts of fun stuff that we'll get to a little bit later. Uh, you also, you, you see the little health bar, the little red bar under your uh, character profile in the top left there. You can replenish that by picking up a heart-shaped box if you're uh, raised in the 90s. Uh, sorry, I couldn't help that one. Go ahead, mumble along to the chorus now if you want. Uh -huh. no. All right, we'll get to the heart-shaped box later. The gentle moon smiled at the thief. <laughs> she made her way towards the shrine of ancient treasure. Strangely, Strangely the protective charms around the shrine allowed her to enter unharmed. Mm -hmm. I, I do like that it is, while it is not exactly a 2D side scroller. I mean, it is, but it's not. Not quite. Just forget the chest. Yep. <laughs> As the thief lay her hand on the treasure, she had a tingling sensation. The thief would soon discover that fate had taken hold of her. Uh oh. Alright, who's next? Is the wizard? The thief, yes, the wizard. wizard. Was just waking up. The wizard had taken a look in the spyglass and seen the terrible undead army. He was keen not to die. Okay. By my trousers, I must escape. He had been studying the stars and trying hard to learn the elusive fireball spell that all wizards ought to know. <laughs> of course, that was a lie. For well, you see, the wizard had a certain reputation with the ladies. What he had really been up to was the creation of a fake fireball potion that would have impressed the ladies and improved his status. The potion had backfired, causing a fortnight of sleep. No, not Fortnite. That's a different game. Yeah, this is the guy that lets you conjure stuff and, uh... Oh. You can do all sorts of fun things with these guys, too. There we go. Oh, it's a you double click on it. Okay. Let's, uh... Oh. Here's, here's the fun part. I don't think you were supposed to do this. Oh. Can I not levitate? Because that's not my box. It's not letting you levitate when someone's on it. Yeah. Did did that get fixed in the uh, Enchanted Edition? No, you... Someone hop on this box? Oh, that's right. That's right. Because we did that with... Uh, okay. Now, now I remember. We, we did that when... Uh, it wasn't yourself. You had to levitate somebody else. Yeah. Okay. 
Somebody gonna levitate us on up there? Can't. Gives me a red hand. I think they fixed it. Anything that someone's standing on, I can't pick up. Hmm. Yeah, no, it looks like they did fix it. Oh man. I mean, look. I was happy to use that, uh... Or, or maybe maybe that's something they, they just won't let you use during the tutorial phase of this endeavor. Maybe. Er. Picked up a mana potion. Yeah, because we, here we are burning through mana. And our XP, 7 of 50. And if I remember, if I remember right, it is indeed a shared XP pool. So we all get XP regardless of whoever picks them up. Throwing boxes at me. What are you boxing? I mean, th th this feels like moving. <laughs> oh, that's why they're there. Oop. Here's number eight. I was about to try to... Actually... Yeah, we can't stand on it, but we can use it to hop. Yeah. yeah me... Of course, you can also, uh... Telekine telekinese. Here. Somebody should be able to jump from that to the next one, or... Don't need to... Got it. Got it. Oh, there's another one up there. Can you do the canals? The thing to move this one? Yeah. You got it? This one, like you see. Ah, <laughs> there we go. Number 10. Got him. Sweet. Uh oh. This looks familiar. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, we're missing somebody. Okay. Uh, hello there. Oh. My darling, why the painful look on such a pretty face? What is this object you are holding onto? How did you get here? The wizard touched the thief's hand, and then the object. His hand got stuck. What kind of trickery is this? For once, the wizard was more interested in... But you get for touching her hand without asking. Mm-hmm. also afraid for his dear life. I'm just curious why his first question wasn't his last question. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. What I mean... doing here wasn't the first one he asked. Did, did we not establish at the start of his story the whole thing about trying to be the ladies' man? Oh, uh, well. ...practicing his own skills to battle the undead... And prove himself worthy of joining the king's army. Between me and you, he did not quite understand what undead meant. <laughs> but this was his chance to be the bravest knight of all. Yeah, um, intelligence is a dump stat for this particular knight. Hey, <laughs> hey, I... Apparently... Dex was too. Yeah, well, I mean, oh, okay. I want to see you jump around in full plate and be all dexterous and stuff. Oh. Uh, why do I feel like. Okay. There. Ah, there we go. Everybody can do this. Yep. Yeah. You can break all sorts of stuff. Uh, you get the shield to go blocking things. Oh. Oh, that works. There we go. That, that's, uh... 14 out of 50. That was three more. Is there anything else up there? Oh. I mean, other than falling off the barrels. Ah! Speaking of fireballs... Oh, yeah. I forgot the uh, where you have your cursor directs where your shield goes. Oh, um. Hmm. There. 
Oh. There we go. Nice. Nice. Sweet. Block the fireball. The trine in the shrine? Was this the night's day of honor? He had sworn an oath to himself to protect the shrine and the academy. Nothing could stand in his way. Nothing. <laughs> well. Hmm. Well, I mean, almost nothing. The knight joined Nearly nothing. Taking a firm grip of the object's third side in a way that only a mighty warrior can. Oh no. This doesn't bode well. What doesn't bode well? There was a flash of light, and the wizard, the thief, and the knight simply disappeared. Hey, this character has a hoodie too. <laughs> New heroes were overwhelmed by the effect of the mysterious object. The uh -oh. wizard tried hard to remember everything he'd learned of the shrine and its artifact. His mind raced through ancient, ancient tales, tales and legends. legends. Finally, the wizard remembered. Oh! Treasure, don't touch that. Object, and... ...was a device that could bind <laughs> souls together. Oops. Worked, Oops. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, uh... <laughs> isn't this how, like... Every horror movie ever starts by touching something that you really shouldn't have, and you only remember afterwards that it's like, oh yeah, I shouldn't have done that. The wizard could not explain it. It's early the horror movies. Yeah. Okay, maybe not just the horror movies. But it's how like every fantasy movie starts out. All right, before I click start to get us on to the next one, we are going to take a really short break. If I can find the right buttons. Well, that was fun. Unless we died. Then it was either hilarious or tragic. You know, depending on how it went down. I hope you enjoyed the series so far. Next episode should roll out tomorrow. Unless tomorrow's a live stream day. The current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, do follow along on Twitch, and that way you'll get notified when I go live, allowing you to chat along as we record the next six episodes. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel here. It really helps out. If you click the bell, you'll get notified of all the new content produced from future games revisited episodes to Coffee Craft live streams uh, to instrument repair and whatever else strikes my fancy. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, quips, queries, quandaries, quotes, complaints, compliments, or other quibbles, leave them in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.